Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. I am down Indian Beach. We have a brand new firmware for the Femi X8 SE 2022. I am just checking everything, make sure everything is all set up here. And we're going to have a little flight, guys. Turn the quality on high. I want to get this up pretty quick because it's cold out. It's minus one, and these drones do not like cold weather. Okay, so I have the white balance set to a cloudy day. Well, actually, before I do this, I want to... Jeez, uh, I don't even know how to do a screen record on this new phone. Okay, so... Navi Mini, Pini Navi, oh, wrong app, wow, okay there, we're in the app, I'm going to start recording, we are now recording, and we will do an auto takeoff, I've got the drone in front of the car, just off to the side a little, that's in VPU, There we go, now I have GPS. Back into VPU. Let's get up a little bit here. And it's going Addy mode. Losing GPS for some reason. It's still in Addy mode, it's uh, kind of drifting. I want to get it out away from the water here. There we go, now I have GPS. So remember, it's a new firmware. We've got to test it out here. Hopefully it's going to keep a nice GPS lock. I'm not going to go too high. And what I want to do right off the back, guys, I'm going to keep my eyes on the drone here. I'm going to go into our features, and I'm going to turn on cinematic mode. There we go. We now have cinematic mode, so we shouldn't have any gimbal tilt whatsoever. Let's gain a bit of altitude. Uh, I think the wind rate here is 12 mile an hour with I believe 20 mile an hour gusts so we should be okay let's go forward a little here just keeping my eyes on that drone guys pan down a little with the gimbal you can see it's a nice slow pan motion when you're in this cinematic mode. I'll fly forwards towards the ships there. Tumble down a little more. I'm pretty close to the rear of that ship now, so I'm going to hang it right about there. I'm going to go a little left though. So you know that uh, saying that's on, look it just went into Addy mode. There, GPS again. So Femi has to absolutely work on that. Um, I don't know why their drones do this, but my 2020 does it an awful lot. Flicks from GPS to Addy mode. And the last Femi Mini I had was terrible for it. That's one of the reasons why it went back. As I was saying, guys, if you look on your mirrors, you see a little saying says object in mirror is closer than it appears. Well, I'm looking at that drone right now behind that ship, and it's closer than what it seems on my screen. But there you get a nice look at the ferry. There's two in port today. There's the second. Large ships, guys. 
pretty large ships. We will head in this way. And what is my speed? 8 meters per second. So it's not too windy for this anyway. Well, this, this drone has a high wind rating anyways, guys. Very high wind rating. I believe it uh, it will handle 64 kilometers an hour. I, I think that's the top speed of it. Top wind speed. So I didn't tell you guys which firmware we are now running. I believe it's the flight controller that was updated. Let's just check here. Into the settings. Um, yeah, okay, there we go. We are on uh, 1009B for the flight controller, and the camera is 3014A. Okay, so now you guys know which firmware version we're running. This just came out today. Oh, sorry, yesterday. Came out yesterday. I had to kind of fight to get this uh, to download because of my uh, my Android phone is garbage. And uh, it was really hard to get it to take this firmware on it. The iPhone won't even show you a new firmware update. And this is an iPhone 10 I'm using now. My 8 won't do it. My 10 won't show it. I had to switch over to an Android phone to actually get the new firmware. And just luckily I had an old LG phone kicking around. And that was the phone that enabled the firmware update because my Samsung S5 wouldn't do it either. I ended up just uh, factory resetting that Samsung in hopes that uh, it would run my Femi Mini better with a uh, factory reset but no go. I can't even get a uh, picture from the camera now with the S5 phone. And a little update on that drone guys is I'm waiting for Femi to send me a new set of cables and they figure that is the entire problem. But I think when I get them I'm still going to have issues because there was an awful lot of lag in the video feed when I did get a video feed. But hopefully it is the cable and hopefully it's the cable causing the lag. So I never had any more uh, disconnections from GPS to Addy here. Seems to be working okay. Just doing a little circle me now around the wharf. We're down to 77% battery. Been filming for over seven minutes now. I've had this drone out sitting on the uh, the edge of the wharf here for at least a minute before I took off. We have 18 satellites. You guys can see how far away I am. I'm right on the beach there. <coughs> I'll have to do an across the harbor flight with this drone guys, but I don't think I'm going to be doing that until the spring. And it's snowing out right now here too. So there I am right there guys, the corner of the lot. I picked this corner in hopes that nobody would come down and park beside me, but there's no one down around here today anyway. So as you can see, cinematic mode is keeping a nice steady held horizon. So use cinematic mode guys when you're flying this drone and you won't have any issues of a tilted horizon. Now if I were to turn cinematic mode off right now, the horizon would go crooked. 
the first fast turn I took with this drone. Nice slow cinematic shots. Excellent. I'm not going to fly right over the top of that boat. I'm going to gain some altitude though. Now 70, 74 meters high. Take a last flight over by those ships, by the ferries. Getting 7.5 meters per second, 7.7. .7. Good little drone guys, just uh, if Femi can correct that horizon tilt without having to use cinematic mode, it would make this an absolute great drone. You guys can see all the uh, survival craft on top of the ship there, those orange, orange vessels. last video I made that I haven't uploaded yet I don't even know if I'm going to upload it it's a hubs and flight here but I spoke in that video about a course I took to be able to work on these ships it's called an MED and it has to do with uh, firefighting how to uh, launch and drive those little life rafts those life vessels the orange ones I just showed you guys an absolute fun course guys the firefighting was the best part of it we had to go into a burning ship an actual ship on land that the school has and uh, they light three different rooms on fire with diesel and you have to go in two people on a hose at a time one on the head of the hose and one holding the, the hose behind you uh, just to keep keep it steady because there there's so much pressure on those hoses they will fling you around in the air and yeah you have to go in and put three different rooms out you have to as soon as you get in there will be a fire in the first room you put that one out and then you keep working your way in through that ship as you're putting the fires out and just an absolute ball it was it was a uh, two week course I think is what it was you can see somebody walking on the beach there. And that's about it guys. I'm going to head back. It's telling me the compass has interfered. But it's been saying that pretty much since I took off here. But I still have GPS. Uh, I have 15, 16 satellites. It's flicking between and uh yeah no more uh disconnecting to addy mode so i'm gonna get out here and land this drone guys and uh i hope you enjoyed this little firmware flight if you're new to our channel and you like the content we provide please leave a like consider subscribing leave a comment because we love reading them make sure your notifications are on and until the next one catch you later peace